G'day everyone. Uh, 9.30 Thursday night, as we know, the footy show happens and it's a piece of magic. It's magic television, we all know that. It just doesn't happen. A lot of people work hard behind the scenes, some very hard working staff, and uh, they gather here at this cottage in 12-something Street, uh, Tarman, every Monday morning, 8am. Well, it's probably just a little bit past that right now, but we're going to have a look at behind the scenes of the footy show and see what goes on and how that 9.30 time slot is just booming. Follow me and let's meet a few of the crew. So here we are inside our lavish cottage, no expense spared for the footy show, but uh, this is some of the staff here. We've got Prue and Nicole. They're excellent workers. They never stop at least three hours a day, both of them. Rebecca's in here. Rebecca's on the phone. She's actually not talking to anyone, but she's <laughs> pretending to. They handle you know, different sort of segments and, and organise players to come on the show and that sort of thing. Alison is here. She's a good sort, Alison. And she's on fire. What's doing there? And she's uh, Glenn Pallister's PA. Now, Glenn Pallister, you would have heard his name mentioned on the show. He's our executive producer. He's in charge of the whole show. Here he is in here. Well, Glenn's been here since day one on the show. He started off his work experience and then he was a cameraman for a couple of years and then worked through the ranks, knifed quite a few people to get the executive producer's job. And he's had that for now three or four years. Has there been a highlight? Has there been a standout in the eight or nine years? Sturlow's Yeah, Yeah was up there. It was Very a magnificent good. shoot which then upset Peter for two and a half years and that was, uh, that's got to be a great I'm moment. Still upsetting him. It's got to be a great moment, but... Uh, Mate, possibly the explosion of the Jeopardy board, mate. Uh, the night we blew the Jeopardy board up and you didn't know that was going to happen. And uh, <laughs> to say you shat yourself, mate, was probably an understatement. Oh. That's got to be one of the highlights. It was a highlight for me too. Multiple choice. You've seen Glenn's office, he's got leather couches and, and, and the works. This is my office, this is where I spend most of my week. A and it's outstanding. It's what they think of me here at nine. Look at this, it's just absolutely tragic. But this is where I spend at least three minutes every week in preparing for the show. The boys are here. We've got oh, Chief and Matty. How's it going? We've got a couple other wood ducks yeah. that work for the show in here. Come and uh, introduce you to these blokes. This is Andy, Andy's our chief editor. He does all the editing, all those stories you see that uh, Chief might go out and shoot, or Trent or Reg. He cuts them all together. But who's your favourite character in the show? Who do you like the most? Trent, you, Reg? Oh, <laughs> I love you, Andy. <laughs> and this is Mike Dalton. Mike uh, has been with us from just about day one as well, and he does all the anti-ads. Uh, so the funny one. ones, the non-funny ones, the tragic <laughs> ones that don't work, that Thanks, you probably mate, never, mate. never get to wear, he's <laughs> responsible. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Anything to say, Mike? Um, just that uh, I thought that the, the terms of the ABR were still applying between you and me, which was to keep five metres away from me. Oh, right. oh, it's that it's it's Mike Dalton, don't worry about him. Right, mm. adults, what are we up for? Well, right, mate, we're just going upstairs, get the makeup, just some makeup. dots. On, yeah, no, just four dots on the face, not for you, for the other boys. Here dots on the faces. What, what and then we're off to Bing Crosby Place. Am I the old guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dad in the cricket ad. And you're also going to be the coach in the red meat ad. So... Okay, mate. Yeah, I, Thanks, it, chill, mate. Have a go at the big man. That's just amazing. The great man! Yeah, good, hey? Get the sock out of your strides. <laughs> That's just for not your good friend. Have you put one in there <laughs> or not? You ready? Yeah. You happy, Tim? I'm rolling. Are you happy, Peter? Just the one. Yeah. Okay, now, Chiefy, just like, as you say, you just come over. Whack! Let him go down. Yeah. You're a prick, Dad. Can I okay. just your time with it and enjoy it a little bit? <laughs> Bang. Yeah. You're a prick, Dad. That's it. And then walk off. Are we ready to give this a go? I'm rolling. Here we go. In three, two, one. Hey! hey Jamie! You're a prick, Dad. <laughs> you all right, mate? <laughs> 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 I hope you got it. <laughs> You've hammered me! I didn't break the space to break. You're f***ing dead! You're f***ing killing me! <laughs> Sorry, mate. Are you right? <laughs> 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 it's just no, your Queenslander a couple of times, I'll be right. No worries. Oh, Thanks, mate. That had some impact, because we hit it. That recall. I'll tell you what, that was worth the wait. That was golden. How long have you been waiting to do that?
So here, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yep. And then, and then Daryl turns to me oh, like yep, that. Right. Yep, I'm with I'll you. Turn this way. Okay. Two shot. Or yes, please. Yeah. Two shot. Or just a hint of Daryl. No, I want to. I want to snap zoom. So I need you to back at that. Snap zoom. They're always good. Grandma, snap zoom. Want to... Here we go. In three, two, one. Yet that other team doesn't stand a chance. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Make the cameraman laugh. That's a good sign. Go. Just roll, lie on top of him. Just what? Oh shit! Oh, yeah. that's it. Now give it, okay, that's it. Yeah, big thumbs up. Who's that? You. And I think there's so many. Ah! Just need fatty out of shot. Out of shot, mate. Out, out, step back, everyone, please. Okay, give us the big thumbs up. Ah! Okay, I need you blokes wiggling and moving like your worms. More wiggling, more wiggling. Of that. That's it, go, go, go. Ah! Okay, just horrified faces around the corner there. Just horrified faces. More wiggling. More wiggling! More wiggling! Pete's face! Pete's face over here! More wiggling! Lots of wiggling! That's it! He's a wiggling! Just one more, one more! Right, our next shot is Maddie and Paul up in the kitchen. Everyone else is done. Scary, mate. That's right, mate. The transformation for mild-mannered Matthew Johns. The very angry Reg Reagan or Regan, as some people like to call him. Got to drop me duds, guys. Might go to sneak or something here. Might scare the kids at home. Two moustaches here. We've got the Reg Reagan moustache. Yeah, We've got the Trent moustache. I know which one to wear today. We'll get the red moustache yeah, Beautiful, mate. Simon's, you watch him as through the shoot, he's got this habit. We can't leave my face alone. He's paranoid about the moustache, it's going to fall off. You watch him. Reg. <laughs> yep. I don't think I've put enough tape on it, mate. Hey? I don't think I've put enough tape on it. Oh, well, I'll be getting touched up on it today, then. Go. Oh, love that. What about that little homo Matthew Johns making his debut in the commentary box on Sunday? His start, as was expected, was very forgettable. I was sitting at home working me hard. What about that little homo Matthew Johns? What about that little homo Matthew Johns making his debut in the commentary box on Sunday? What about that little homo Matthew Johns? What about that little homo? What about that little homo, Matthew Johns? Matthew. What about that little homo? Yeah. What about that little homo, Matthew Johns, making his debut in the commentary box on Sunday? His start, as was expected, was very forgettable. I was sitting at home working my way through half of the case of the good stuff when I made an amazing discovery. Johns is a half wit. Okay, guy, thing. Yeah, shoot the thing, okay? Do the thing. Hi, Reggie. I just wondered if we could see that Terry Martin try last week for the Canberra Raiders against the Penny Panthers. Want to take a closer look? Thought it was a real cracker. Thanks very much, cutie. Can we catch that? Come on. Okay, do I look okay? Yep, fine. So how big are you? Do you want to give you some dimensions like um, weight, height, um, chest? 
Uh, I've got no, no idea about the chest and that, but um, height about 194 centimetres and weight goes anywhere between 115 to 125. What's it like playing under Nathan Brown as a coach? Yeah, Brownie's really good. Uh, I'm sure he's helped a lot of us out individually as players and uh, I'm sure he's going to help us out a lot more. So Brownie's been going really well, as has uh, Laurie Daly, Brown, uh, Barney, all of them there, they've been great. Daryl plugs League of Their Own and then uh, Fatty intros the, uh, the Charlton Hill uh, with through a CD cover. Charlton Hill performs upstage and straight to break. Depending on how we're going there, mate, and I'll talk to Fatty if he's comfortable, mate. He might go in for your playoff doing the uh, Letterman style. Thank you, thank you, thank you. OK. Mate, uh, beat the boys. It's human bowling. Um, Daryl will demo. The, they've got to hurl themselves down the, the, uh, the plastic and knock over the cracker Fatty dolls. Um, no, no, you've got to set them up. So we need a couple of guys to set them up. And because we're um, uh, re really on top of our RH and, and S and all, whatever that is, um, <laughs> we, um, we actually have to have... Uh, Prue will be there to help the guys out at the end and they'll wipe their feet on a towel because we'd hate to see one of them slip over. Tonight, Red Dragon reviews the week in league. Trent pops in as he does. The female amateur caller is going to go at it again and beat the boys is an absolute ripper. That's the footy show next. TC. Happy with that? Lovely, Matty. You're going to do it everywhere, they said, yeah? Look at Ross. Well done, buddy. Thanks very much, mate. Yeah. Do you know what it is? If you listen to 1269 on the AM band, 12 to 6, mate. Exactly. 12 to 5, 30. 12 to 5, 30. <laughs> Mark. Uh, a lot of just just uh, let's look after this, guys. Not too much water on the track, and uh, you're doing a good job, everyone. Give yourself a pat. Okay, okay, you got that. Oh. That is the biggest ass I've ever seen in my life. Except for his brothers. Could be worse, mate. It could be hairy. Your brother's got the bigger one. Could be hairy, boys. <laughs> Someone get a razor. <laughs> you can't take that out in public. Pink Chef, jersey, mate. Pink shirts. How are you coming up with your speedo, Chief? You coming oh, up all right? No problem. I'll tell you what, you can tell it's a big night because... Uh, what are you doing, Pete? Yeah, I've always You've had... got massive problems. <laughs> I've always had... <laughs> 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 you do the ball. Oh, you do the ball. Well, it's the uncut version. <laughs> <laughs> That's one for the girls. <laughs> Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Come on, better. Six. Come on, Mark. Four. Three. Two. One. Eyes away. Chuck us hit it, Mark. Seventeen. It's time for the footy. Down on chemistry. This is a cue for you and Ali. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Three. Get him up. Go. And. Send them out. Ready, camera one. Send them out. Ready, camera five. Ready, camera five. Um, all right, come down and say hello if you like. Get a picture, an autograph. Otherwise, piss off and go home. Drive safely. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Yeah. Bye -bye. Yeah. Thanks, Luke.
ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come down and have a chat and a quick photo of autograph, please feel free. If not, it's a good one.